Banditos, today we're gonna have fun blowing stuff up using explosive delivery. You know I'm gonna do it. Jesus Christ. I think he got away. He doesn't take splash damage. Uh, it's really overlooked and it's because of this, the, everybody wants to have the, uh, the clusters, but I tell you that, <laughs> You see that fucking deer just roll through here? Like, yeah, let me do explosives. Oh, that deer's trolling us. That is the same deer. I think he is immune to explosives. Do this build real quick just make sure we're on the same page so again this is centered on explosive delivery on the talent which is uh obviously an explosive talent for explosive skills it doesn't have to be explosive skills but it works best but whenever you throw a skill 1.5 seconds later you're gonna get an explosion and that it's five meters which looks pretty good from the circle you see and you don't take damage from that explosion by the way so damage skills with skill tier dealing 25 to 100% damage of your concussion grenade and we're at a 2 million uh, concussion grenade right now that's as strong as that thing gets and so that's why we're running explosive damage to make things as strong as possible for our skills and then um, I'm running one piece uh, group on my gloves it's got status effects and skill damage we are playing into status effects but um, we are running two pieces of group overall for that 15% explosive damage and then here's my second piece here on the knees and more skill damage and haste you want as much skill haste as possible of course skill damage because this is an updated explosive delivery build what I'm trying to do the intentions are to run two pieces of brazos or at least one piece of brazos because we get new gear and i've created these builds before right so i've i've created this same build with a wyvern and a hannah or two pieces of uh china light instead i've done this with the btsu gloves i've done this with the costa go back but my intentions are like within when we're inside of a season is to use the new gear that the devs give us and to create new builds for you with the new gear you know so that we're making getting the most out of the game like i'm not just going to create the same explosive delivery build like created in you know tu 14 tu 15 for you i mean that's that, that i just give you a link to that video right so this is an updated explosive delivery build and so in order for it to be considered an updated we got to use the new gear and so and it's got to be good so you know does it meet the marks right is it does it do what it's set out to do is it an effective build and is it fun and so that's that's the measure of a good build for us so and so one of the things is we're running two piece brazos for the uh skill haste we are using the skill haste because we want our skills deployed as often as possible but we're also using it for the uh, skill tier so that allows us to put on some more armor because we are playing inside the kill zone so we got uh, armor here skill haste skill damage and two pieces bronzos for that skill tier also and then the backpack are running tech support which is nice so it's not there until you get your first kill with your skill and then it's active um and skill damage skill haste there and skill tier we're using the vial because both of our skills put out bleed which is nice and skill damage also but it applies bleed and so does this so this is an explosive skill and has bleed both those skills are going to activate uh, vile so the enemies are uh, being debuffed and all the status effects and explosive damage make a stronger vile debuff and so when an enemy dies because of the bleed it's going to activate tech support so there's three ways basically we can activate tech support one is from explosive delivery and then from the explosions or stinger directly or from the bleed so there's three ways to get uh, tech support activated and then of course vile is uh, making them easier to kill now what's really unique is we're using the mop Decided we settled on this for that 10% armor on kill, and I'm running preservation for another 10% armor on kill. So you can run this with N Sync. That's what we were doing before. And I really like it with NSYNC. So it's a tough call on which is better. It really is. And so I'm testing it both ways, and I like it both ways. Sacrificing a little bit of damage for more armor on kill or armor regen, if you want to look at it that way, allows you to play more aggressively and push on the enemy a little bit more. So, but if you decide to go for more damage, it also works because it allows you to kill the enemy faster which means that you have less threats shooting at you which means you need a little bit less armor repair so they're both right there's no wrong way here i guess is the best way to put it so it's all going to come down to how fast you play and how fast you like to play and i think if you play really fast you're probably going to run preservation you need if you're getting aggressive kills if you're playing aggressively then you need aggressive heals that's what i'm finding because if you find if you get in a pinch you not, don't always have time to heal yourself up with an armor 
kit, but that works too. Very nice. Anyways, your skills do activate preservation. Your skills do activate armor on kill. Even if you don't use your gun, you just have to have it in hand. So you can do the same thing with the TDI card if you decide to go that way. So you can run preservation on a TDI card, get the extra skill tier, and they run more armor on your build. The more armor on our build's not really gonna do anything for us because we are playing from cover. We are. And so you'll see me running around and duck and diving and dodging and all that stuff. But the reality is, is that we don't really need that much armor. I'm avoiding bullets as much as I can. Nothing really to see in the stats here because it's all skill related. So really strong skills. They're definitely doing a job all tier six here. Skill damage is supposed to damage everywhere. Let out. Strong enough. Destruction. <laughs> Super fun. Where's my hive? Where's my hive? Give me my hive. God damn it. Oh, grenade. Oh. <laughs> She rolled right into it. Quick question. Ready? Wait, that's not the question. This is. Did you know I make gamer music playlists? Yep. I do, and they're known for making your tune run faster, give you more amp damage, and boosted kill XP. Join the Players Club and they're yours to stream, on or offline, on YouTube and SoundCloud. I just released Volume 8 so the timing couldn't be better. Be sure to choose Hardcore Bandito member level or higher. If you love the Division 2 lore and builds, check out episode 9 of my Netflix style build miniseries next. Follow me.